www.pamper.blogspot.com Hi beauties! Today I'm going to make an envelope for this card that I want to send out. It is a four and a quarter by five and a half. So let me go ahead and show you. I've got my Stampin' Up! envelope punch board here. And then I'm going to get out my Stampin' trimmer. And what I need to do is I'm going to look at the size of the card that I have, find it on here, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I just go over here to the paper size that I'm going to need, and it reads eight by eight. So I'm going to get out that Stampin' trimmer, and uh, I'm going to get out my piece of paper, and I'm going to go ahead and measure eight by eight. So I can either open this arm up and do it this way and do eight by eight or I could just know that this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and cut off half an inch using just this side but since I already have it out we're gonna go ahead and cut off eight by eight we're gonna have this square piece of paper here and you can save your scraps. As you know, I save my scraps. So this envelope punch uh, board comes with this great little tool. So now, again, I'm going to go ahead and read four and a half by five and a half, cut my paper eight, and a, eight by eight, and then I look here and I go to three and a half. So all I do is I look here to where three and a half is, I'm going to start my first line there. So I have it at three and a half. And what I want to do is I just want to punch a little uh, part out. And then I'm going to put this right along here. And I'm going to push down and make a score line. Now this is the only time you need to measure. After that, you just use your score lines. So there is this little score guide, which looks like a little tail. And all I'm going to do is now I'm going to measure that little score guide right up with the score line that I had originally made. Once that's lined up, I punch it again. Make sure it's punched really well. And I take that and make another score line. Then I'm going to turn it again, doing exactly the same thing. I'm going to measure it up on that little tail, score guide, punch get my tool right in there, and make another score line. Turn it one last time. We're going to line it up, punch, and make that last score line. Now, something really neat is this other side. You're going to insert that edge there, and it actually makes a corner rounder, so you're going to get round corners. Yeah, there you go. So once that's all complete, that's all I need. I can get rid of this guy for the time being. So we're going to take and those score lines and just bring them all in, fold them. And you can see that envelope starting to form. You don't have to do anything else because it makes a perfect line right there. You see that? Now you would just take your adhesive and adhesive that down. Um, but I like to have it flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my paper snips. Now I could have rounded that corner as well. But I'm just going to take that paper snips and cut it right off just because I'm interested in having that flat line there. Now I'm going to go ahead, put my adhesive right on the end, and there you go. It's a perfect envelope, just like as if you had bought it. See there? Now I'm going to take that card, get it all signed, ready to go. Stick it on in there, and then it's ready to be mailed. Isn't that cool? Quick and easy. So there you go. If you'd like to purchase your envelope uh, punch board from me, 
let me know, beautyinthestamper.com. Thanks, beauties. Have a great day. Bye. For more tips and techniques, visit beautyinthestamper.blogspot.com.